Well guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome down to Tampa, Florida. The final event on Wesley's medical exemption. He needs a um, tied or 51st place finish or better to get conditional status and then a sixth place finish or better um, to get his full card. So a lot's riding on this. It was a little scary. Like he actually is playing for his card for the first time in like four years. So Wesley, good luck. If you watch this, uh, proud of you. Let's go make some birdies. Let's do something crazy. Oh, the vibes are way more fun. You didn't film any of them? I'm nervous, holy. Literally, his PJ Tour card is on the line. Here we go, welcome uh, to Humble Boat. Um, We're here, oh, the sun's just hitting me so beautifully. Look at this. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Yeah, yeah, I got there, I, got, I saw you on hole seven, got to you, um, but hole eight, just kick us off. Uh, no, well, were you filming on seven? Yeah, great. Okay, too, so yeah, I hit it to about 90 feet. I hit it in the left rough, the only place you can't hit it on that hole. Um, and was able to hit a good shot kind of around some trees up and over. And then was able to brush that one, the second putt in from about nine or 10 feet. I left it short. Oh, it was too hot. Guess I'm as a uh, good luck charm. And at the time, I'm one under par. And the, really, the stretch of holes from seven, eight, nine and 10, to be quite fair, were, were really important in keeping the round together. On eight, I hit the worst <laughs> shot I think I've ever hit in competition. It was into the wind in 230 and trying to hit four iron, which is never really gonna get there anyway, but just trying to hit like a trap hard draw, it turned into a chunk fan to the right, about 40 yards right of the green, um, and hit as my English playing partner Danny Willett would say a brilliant shot from over there to just a little tap in make a par there and go to hole nine and hit a really good drive the wind takes it but the bunker to cover is like 288 and I hit a good one thinking it's gently downwind and it this is actually the, the point in time in the round where the wind started to shift so it shifted back into there off the tee and plugged it in the lip of a bunker horrible break I had to chip it out sideways and then was able to Hit that wedge shot to about 10 feet and make that one, or eight feet and make that one. What a par. That's tough. Another just huge momentum keeper. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily shifter, but momentum keeper. And and then on hole 10, hit a really poor drive to the right there. Got an unbelievable break for that to come back in the right rough. Hit that one right in front of the green. Hit a chip that I landed just a couple feet too far and was able to make that one. So I would say those three holes in a row could have been, I mean, it really could have been bogey, 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 turned into par, 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 par. And um, 11 and 12, I missed good opportunities. And then 13 was able to make a birdie. 14, another just horrible break. I feel like there's like a three foot area. I hit a three wood right up next to the green. And if it had been three feet to the right, I'd be in the bunker, it'd have been an easy shot. Three feet to the left, I'd have been flat in the rough and it would have been an easy shot, but I was on the down slope and rough next to the bunker. Hit a decent chip shot. They got all the way up to like 10 feet and then started rolling back and off the green. So I had a good birdie opportunity on the next hole. That one gently slid by. And then we get to where the, the momentum really shifted in, in daddy's favor. <laughs> and that was after a, a pull hook into the trees. And what you're not gonna see is in the pine straw over there, it was sitting on some leaves, but it wasn't an old divot. And the old divot was pointing like 40 yards left. I could have gone right or I could have gone left. If I went left, I was able to work it towards the flag landing on the green and hit about a 25 yard, 30 yard slice with a four iron to about six feet. I mean, brushed it right in the middle of the hole. 17 missed a, a poor opportunity, a good opportunity, hit a pretty poor putt there. And then 18, just kind of followed the trend of hitting a poor tee shot, a decent to above average recovery. And then I really misjudged the putt. It's one of those that goes up and over and runs away. And I left it like six or seven feet short, right in line with it. And that putt was breaking probably over a foot from seven feet and hit a really nice putt there to finish it off and you know there was people that came up to me after the round and said i heard you shot a pretty unbelievable <laughs> three under i was like well not only was it unbelievable it's bogey free so I know. From all the places i was at it was i'm pleased with it do i think that better rounds are ahead maybe maybe not i don't know so this is where we're at sitting after round one i do feel like though if i can start to 
hit the ball decent off the tee that I will Matt Atkins is continually FaceTiming and calling. And check check this phone right here. Another Matt Atkins missed call right there. <laughs> the guy's relentless. We're just over here trying to film a little bit. Yeah, so anyway, uh, we're sitting. And I thought the wind was going to blow a little bit. It is pretty daggum stale out here right now. So three unders in the morning, usually pretty decent because it'll blow in the afternoon. Place plays pretty tough. But anyway. Yeah, Gotta right keep 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 the pedal to the floor and hopefully make a few more than three birdies tomorrow. On the tee, the 125 starting time from Columbia, South Carolina, Wesley Bryant. Well guys, this is where the rubber meets the road. It's the back nine. This could be the last nine of the video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. I'm about to find out what he's made of. Go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he's 200 for the tournament, one off the cut line. Needing to make this cut to keep his card. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, he's sitting on plenty of game, that's a fact. <laughs> he just gotta get in the race. And is he nervous? No, he's not nervous. Oh my gosh, sorry guys about that, um, for the earthquake because I got a little excited. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, update. First good thing that's happened all day, but we're heading to the 17th hole, hole number eight. He's three under par, just moved one inside the cut line. I mean, <sighs> yeah. Guys, I've missed some shots. I'm sorry. It's I'm telling you the tension. That's the cool thing about this. Like we're getting the raw. Like I'm having trouble filming because I'm like all over the place. <sighs> Come on. Are you kidding me? Well, that's slick. Well. <laughs> Post game presser. Loved it. Well, I'll let you practice. We'll let you get, get to work. No, I need, need some time to calm down a little <laughs> bit after that. Wesley, I. I didn't get either of those birdies because I was. You didn't film any of them. I filmed them, just not not oh, well. Oh, you just had yes. that. Yes. You know, I've been nervous sometimes, but that was a really wildly weird, different kind of nerves. <laughs> Putting awful all day. I mean, terrible. Like hit missing putts by, by, like, eons. Then I had a four footer, and I'll be honest, I had no clue which way it was breaking. I thought it was maybe going left. I thought it was maybe going right. And I was like, well, I'm just going to hit it straight and soft, and then we can maybe use some of the hole, and it just squeaked in there, and... I mean, whew. like, you can't, you literally can't make it up. Your last no, start. you can't. And you have I'm on start. my freaking <laughs> knees on number <laughs> 17th hole, trying to chip it out. Yeah, and by the way, it was about this far from hitting the edge of the cart path and wrecking back into the, into the stratosphere. Would you, like, would you like to revisit that shot? Yeah, let's revisit, because I couldn't even see the ball. <laughs> I'm on my knees and I can't see the ball. <laughs> I know it. I thought this was a good shot of the day. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm over here like just trying to figure out if my dang club is... <laughs> I mean... You had a what? great shot. It was solid. I know. And it, it hooked. It, it, it hooked. Well, it was nice. The double hit roll is not really in effect. <laughs> because I was thinking of with the club... Because I had the club face completely dead shut. So I'm thinking hey. I can like rake it off hey. the shaft, the hosel. Like the, so anyway, that's it. That's yeah. where we're at. Well, now we got to figure out a way to play good.
Hey. But well, we got a chance. <laughs> uh, we'll check back in, guys, once we really figure out what's going on. But right now, we buried the last hole on his last start to make the cut to, to, to give us a chance. Let her know you Oh, gosh. All right. That's wrong, Professor. I mean, just... <laughs> As we lay down, just finished up some public subs. Now it's time to just dig into some Pop-Tarts. That's all we got here. I mean, I don't even know where to start. Like, literally your whole season, your whole year is on the line. My whole up. career, my whole life. Whole li livelihood is on the line. Nothing special to start off in the day. A lace to T-ball. Lace to second shot in there, I like can be. Brick house. <laughs> it's kind of the theme of the day, just brick house, brick house, brick house all day. Until I got to when I really felt like I needed one on my 16th hole. I've dropped it left hand low. I've been missing all my right to lefters. I have right to lefters all day long. And I kept missing them. I'm missing them and missing them. I dropped left hand low. Shout out to Tagawa. And rolled it right on in there. And man, oh man, it felt good. And then my worst nightmare came true. I had a ball in the bushes. I'd get on my knees and just kind of like rake it out for the most part. By golly, you know what your boy did. <laughs> he got it up and down. Incredible shot. The lie was awful over there. And hit that one to a couple feet. And then, I'll be honest, I tugged my drive on the last hole, and the wind kind of brought it back. It hit right in the end of the fairway. I had a perfect number, like 135 yards uphill. Couldn't be a better yardage. I'll be honest, I thought I'd hold it. I was a little disappointed when I got there and saw it was like three feet, but... And then made the least confident stroke of my life. <laughs> and brushed it in, but here we are. Oh man. I got fans. Solo six are better. Guys, how about that? Holy cow, yesterday was absolutely wild. I was all, honestly all over the place. Um, but yesterday was one of the coolest things I've ever witnessed. Um, his back against the wall, going from looking like he, oh yeah, he's gonna make the cut, to well, that, there, it's over. Incredible up and down, and then finishing with a birdie to, get, to make the cut on the number to extend his season, to give him hope. Holy cow. Anyway, round three, here we go. The, the, the yesterday, that was not the finish line. We That was just a starting point, honestly. So today, we gotta keep that foot down on the gas. And honestly, here's my prediction. We're gonna see a freer version of Wesley than we've than we've seen on the channel um, in tournament play. He's gonna be loose. I have a feeling he's gonna play well. Round three, here we come. Also, we're playing with Victor Hovland. That's kinda cool, so see you guys out there. Also, time to strap in. This is, this is, the, this is the setup for all you gear people out there. This is how we roll at tour events. If you guys want to know what makes tour events better, guys like these guys. These right, are the real MVPs. We got a car, we got a car. Got a car. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got, we got two. two. This guy makes my day. Double. What about me? I'm, I, don't, I don't get preferential treatment. Hey, you're walking. <laughs> you're walking. 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 That's my man right there. I don't care what they say. <laughs> got a we got a car. Come on, Crow. Come on, Crow. We got him. <laughs> guys through seven holes way more confident way more relaxed the vibes are way more fun he kind of looks more like what you guys are used to seeing joking hitting good shots confident uh, but now he's just gotta make some birdies and he did hit a way better shot here on eight <laughs> thank goodness Whew, this is, this, I'm feeling good about this week and today and for a reference he is even par one birdie one boogie how are we feeling pops I feel great didn't get a lot of sleep but I feel <laughs> hey, he looks good. Much better. Much he looks better than great. Yesterday. Yeah, he does. So, in my estimation, he's starting to get that speed right with the putter, hitting him a little firm. Uh -huh. Notice the last two bunker shots, been spectacular. So, he's starting to get it right in his hands. His head looks good, swing looks good. Let's go!
Just fitting this how we end. And I'm calling Birdie out of the trees. There, I said it. Wesley, go do it. All right, here we go, round three recap. Leslie. Coming to you a little different here. And with Elizabeth, surprise, <laughs> surprise yeah, trip go. down. Uh, yep, uh, got a, a guest here. Um, man, it sucked. No really other way to put it. I had a nice little three-hole stretch. Other than that, it was just hold on for dear life. It just wasn't good. We need better. Hey, but I will say you're not good compared to Arizona. The last time I saw you is way better. Way better. All right, let's see. see you. <sighs> well, guys. As a professional golfer, as a competitive golfer, this is what you sign up for. He's right on that bubble heading to the final round. He's currently tied for 49th-ish as we sit right now, uh, which would be good enough if he was tied with like one guy or two guys or by himself, but he's tied with a host of players. So it's looking like one under is what he's gonna need to shoot tomorrow. That being said, he played well today. Yes, he he bogeyed the last hole. Um, it got a little scrappy towards the end, but overall, I mean, he played well. Yes, the numbers aren't going to say that he drove it well, but he missed all the fairways for the most part by a little bit. His iron game is super solid. Birdie's on 10, 11, and 12. The putter looked great um, for the most part. All in all, solid. Like, he, he's right in the mix. The key to these kind of qualifiers or... or when you're kind of cards on the line, is to keep yourself in it as long as possible. And that's what we're doing. We're in the third round, right in the mix. So we're signing off. We're gonna get some rest. <laughs> Mentally, I'm gonna need a recharge because tomorrow's gonna be a grind. I cannot wait for you guys to come along and hopefully good, bad, or indifferent. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I know I'm gonna enjoy it. Wes is gonna enjoy it. See you guys tomorrow. <sighs> well, one over today through 10 holes. Currently two off the number. <laughs> It's getting real. A lot, of, a lot of stressors here. Elizabeth, my dad, myself. Hopeful, but stressed. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> Three holes left, two birdies are needed to keep his card. Holy cow. I can't even, it's freaking nervous. I'm nervous. But guys, this is like, we thought the closing stretch on Friday was big. This is 10 times bigger. This is literally his PJ Tour card is on the line. Hard speed fast just thinking about that. Let's go. so I've, I've got a high noon right now. Um, feeling crappy, terrible, 
dejected, a lot of hard work, didn't really pay off. Uh, something that I really wanted really bad, didn't pan out, just lost my job, kind of. I guess that's another video for another time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sad, a lot of tears were shed. Mm -hmm. Just like when you want something so bad and it doesn't pan out, it just sucks. Like it freaking sucks, there's no way around it. And that's what happened today. Um, I just needed to make a couple birdies out there and I didn't. So, um, feeling terrible, not about myself, like personally, I got an amazing family and all yeah. that stuff. I got two beautiful girls, like life is, life is great. Golf sucks. So that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. I mean, there's really, I mean, you didn't do anything great. You didn't do anything bad. It was just, I didn't like... do anything good. Nothing good. Uh, I mean, I, there was some times where I actually hit the ball fairly solid today, which was nice. It started off on the first hole, and I mean, hitting out here, hitting the fairway on the par fives is wildly important. Mm -hmm. Like at least for the last few days, like if you don't hit the fairway on five, it's you just you don't have a chance to get yourself in position. I mean, the highlight the the on the course, you played solid, you just didn't score well. It was like key moments, like on five after I've got I'm going for the green and two, mm -hmm. and I end up having to like chip out, like. I, I can't try and chip a ball close after going for a green and two. Like if I give myself a good opportunity for eagle there, or if I have an easy up and down and make a birdie there, maybe a little different story. Also kind of where we're at, I had an opportunity on 11, 12, and 13 to make birdie. Mm -hmm. I missed all of those. And then still, I mean, I'm in decent spot. I think I, all I gotta do is maybe make like one, maybe two birdies coming in. And I got 14, uh, easy par five, just hit the fairway, key moment. Didn't happen. So then I'm having to like chip out there and and then I miss the green on 15 and then 16 trickles through. Like if, even if I, if I hit the fairway on 16 and have a nine iron into that back flag or whatever, instead of trying to gouge something out of the rough, it just barely, it rolled a yard or two into the rough. And now I'm playing for par, best case scenario. And then I hit a poor tee ball on 17, plugged it in the bunker. Now I'm on 18 having to try and hold it out. So like those key mo like if I could yeah. have just gotten the ball in the fairway or made a couple putts in those like really pivotal moments, it would have maybe been a little different story. But now here we are just wallering. But you do have past champion status. You are going to play. In, you'll get I'll sponsor get a, exemptions. I'll get, I'll get a handful of starts from now until the end of the year. He's going to be fine. Now I just, well, I'm going to be, I well, just got to play real good. Yeah. Real good. Well, everyone, um, it's been emotional for me, uh, Wesley. But again, this ultimately, I think, is going to make you a better player. Like, it's not the end of the road. It's not the end of the road. But um, thank you guys for coming along on this, my first ever trying to document a whole entire tournament. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, Wesley. The lighting looks terrible, by the way. This is going to look amazing. <laughs> anyway, no, just... Hey, it's just on, it's just on, uh, on brand. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Wesley, play well. I'll need it. Thank you.